Masala here. So lately I've been noticing these white cabbage moths flying around the garden. And so this morning I went ahead, took a look at our collard greens and kale, and sure enough, there were a bunch of green cabbage worms or larvae. Um, so these will turn into or grow into these white cabbage moths and the cycle will begin again because they'll come back and lay their eggs on your brassica plants. And these plant, the brassica family includes kale, collard greens, um, any variety of cabbages, Brussels sprouts, broccoli. So these larvae love to eat the greens or the leaves of these plants and they can devour them even overnight and it's happened to me in the past. So this is my method as I and that I recorded early this morning as I handpick them. It's what I normally do. Um, there are other methods that you can do as well and I would like to know what you guys do. So we have chickens so I feed the cabbage worms to the chickens. I, in the past before we had chickens I have put the worms in a soap and water solution in a bottle until they die. So anyways, um, yeah, watch out for these green cabbage worms. They seem to be more apparent in spring and early fall when it's not so hot from what I've no noticed here in the Pacific Northwest. So anyways, here's that short video of the cabbage worms. Thanks for stopping by you guys. Have a wonderful day and happy we gardening. We here in the garden this morning and I noticed that something's been eating the leaves and our collard greens and kale. So I looked into the center of the plants and I noticed that there are some green cabbage worms. Can you see those? I'm trying to focus in there. Sorry if my hand is shaky, I'm holding my phone and I have our baby in the, on my other arm. But I saw at least six, there's about three more on the other side of the leaves here. Oh, there's another one here. They will devour your plants, so you need to get rid of them right away. I'm going to hand pick them like I usually do and I feed them to my chickens or you can hand pick them and put them in a soap and water solution. You can also use some insecticidal soaps that you can purchase at your local garden center or hardware store that are organic and safe to use. I don't like to use any pesticides, so I try to do more of a natural methods. So here are the green cabbage worms that I picked today from our collard greens and kale. Fortunately, only one of our garden boxes was affected. But there's a bunch more, or a lot more than I thought. So we're gonna go ahead and feed this to our chickens. One's escaping. So they'll be really happy. I'm trying to escape. These are the cabbage worms poop. So if you see any of these tiny black dots or speckles, it's a sign that you have cabbage worms in the garden. Mm -hmm. 